It's embarrassing. <laughs> I've messed up. So there's a little insight into what running Makers Markets is like. It's really fun, <laughs> it's very stressful. Oh, they're so cool. Cute. Super professional, as always. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the Fauna Rose YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Megan and I'm the owner of Fauna Rose and I make and sell scrunchies, macrame, home decor, glassware and a huge bunch of goodies like that. And in today's video, it's just going to be a few days in the life of running a small business. I've got a few things that I want to make and restock. I've got some orders to package. So we will just see what we get up to, but I'm going to kick off this video by packaging up Julie's order. So Julie, thank you so, so much. I believe this is her third order now and Julie is local. So she's picked up some of the Christmas items that are in the sale as well as the Faith scrunchie which was also part of the Christmas collection but it's become an all year round favourite that stayed in the shop and it's a really really gorgeous tartan scrunchie. So she's also gone for the Noel scrunchie which is this really cute navy blue holly print and then we've got the Aster print. I love this so much. So it is this beautiful Scandinavian star print one and then she's also picked up the matching wristlet. I think this might be the last one. I could be wrong. So let's get this packaged up. So the first stop is I'm going to actually try and take a vintage parcel, but usually when I try and take them, they don't have any shipping labels, but annoyingly enough, for some reason, my vintage doesn't let me select print it myself. It just gives me like a QR code that I have to take. So I'm going to drop this off and attempt to drop it off. And then luckily the post office is then on the same road. So let's get these taken. Oh, right, I'm back. They're all sent, which is great. They had labels, so I could send the vintage parcel. I've sent off Julie's order, so Julie, thank you so much. Again, you absolute legend. I will quickly mark it shipped, add the tracking information, and then I'm gonna set up my silhouette. I'm gonna get it to print off a few different things. I'm gonna do some celestial glass can cups, because they're always popular. I need some more. I had a delivery of glassware over the weekend, so I can get some more made up. And then I've got a delivery of keychains. My motel keychains are due, because I'm out of stock of some of them already, so I need to get a few of those designs sorted. And and as per, we need to organise this office because it's embarrassing. <laughs> it's so bad. So I might pop on my headphones, organise some stuff. I've got paperwork to organise like tax stuff and invoices and stuff. And yeah, we'll then go from there.
hello. So I've just been trying to organise the drawer that is just chaos. It's a mix of vinyl stuff, card, paper, as well as tax documents. So <laughs> I've been doing that, but in between I've been doing vinyl. So, so far I've got one celestial crank up done in white. It's just finished cutting a gold one. And I've been taking the tiny bits of detail from the Fueled by Ice Coffee and Anxiety ones. But well, the postman's just been, and I was like, what on earth is this? <laughs> Alex, if you are watching this, stop. When even is Easter? It's the 31st of March. My plan for Easter, I'm going to do a little Easter egg hunt for Alex because I think it'd be quite funny. And I've already printed off the clues. And then all over the house, I'm going to hide loads of chocolate I've been collecting. So I've got like cream eggs, a massive mini egg bar. And Alex loves minions. He thinks they're amazing. He absolutely loves them. So when I saw this, I thought, oh my God, I have to get him that. <laughs> And it was from a small business. It's called Claire's Little Craft Shop on Etsy. And it is a cream egg holder. <laughs> Look at that. It's just a little crocheted minion. And you put it on a cream egg. I just wanted to show you. I thought it was funny. And then next, my keychains have just arrived. Yes, there's a snack. A refresher bar. I was under the impression I bought... <gasps> I've messed up. No. I was under the impression I bought two white. And there's only... As in like two packets of white. There's only one. Either way, we've got white, sage, coffee coloured, black and pink. Oh, so the Fueled by Ice Coffee and Anxiety is on a white keychain. And the vinyl is supposed to be nude in colour. Like a coffee colour. And I've done it in white. It's fine. I don't need this coffee colour for a short while because I've got a bunch of coffee keychains already made up. So I'm going to put the white on that, I think. So this is something that it's not something I struggle with but <laughs> I think someone did ask me recently like how I manage my ADHD and trying to be organized and keep on top of things blah 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 blah. and this is one thing I would say I don't struggle with it but happens because I, I get in the zone and I just start doing stuff really quick and I'm just like blah 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 I don't always think things through I say always I never really think things through or I overthink things through I clearly was thinking that these were going to be white keychains and because the colour white was in my head I've then obviously done them in white so I make little silly mistakes like that really that's really annoying it's fine it's not the end of the world though I can still use it I don't waste stuff so let's carry on this is where we're up to I did sit and cut out loads and loads and loads of the fueled by coffee and anxiety vinyl pieces but in the right color so i've got all the brown ones i've where have i put it oh they're behind me i do have all of the white ones there and then i cut out snake design this was one of my more popular designs i do have one left in stock but because i've not sold that many in a short while i only cut the one because i do have one in stock already but this one has been quite popular at the minute which is my celestial can cut ones these are probably my most popular design so i've got two white and two gold all cut up and ready to go what i might do is get some of these keychains made up and i'll see how many of these i can get done before i need to go to work hey good morning guys <laughs> i'm trying to deep breathe because I'm a little bit stressed. I'm going to do something that was called a compliment sandwich when I used to work with kids. I don't think you're even allowed to do anything like this anymore because I know you can't do any form of anything because you're not allowed to upset anyone these days, are you? You're not allowed to say anything even if it's constructive. So you'd say something like, when I was coaching, it'd be like, oh, that was a really good try, well done. However, this time, if you could try and point your toes, it'll help you with this, but keep going because that was amazing. So it'd be like positive, negative, positive does that make sense so you don't hurt people's feelings now it's probably just positive 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 <laughs> but that's how i'm going to do it this morning i'm going to talk a few positives negatives positives so yesterday before i went to work i did finish off those keychains there we go it actually looks quite cute so we now have it in <laughs> white and nude which isn't the best but it saves us wasting that vinyl i also got my bonus video out for the fauna rose uh, family members from the fauna tier which is great as well as the other video so that was all good annoyingly enough though last night's vlog didn't do that well the negatives so if you are new here and you don't know this, Alex and I, with the help of our new assistant Tom, run Makers Markets and I forget every single time how infuriating, stressful and hard work <laughs> these markets are. I love doing it, but it is a lot of hard work and unfortunately the human race are very infuriating, so this is very unprofessional, but 
I just need to get it off my chest and breathe. I had to make myself a cup of tea. I'm coming out in a little stress rash and everything. I'm pretty sure we've contacted everyone now who has applied to the market. And in the past, we haven't sent out unsuccessful emails. It just stated on the application form that you'll hear back within this many days. And if you don't, unfortunately, you've been unsuccessful. But unfortunately, because we are quite a spoon fed society, everyone does need everything very black and white. And even though you do that, you still get people who don't understand it. So it's very difficult. So for example, when we started posting applications, it will be information. So we're taking applications. Here's all the information. So when it is, where it is, blah, blah, blah. All the additional information is in the booking form with the booking form. Then there'll be like a poster that has the time, the place, the date, everything on there. And then you click the booking form and everything's on there again. And people will still be like, where is it? When is it? How much is it? You know, you're like, it's right there multiple times. Just read it. Oh my word. And that's fine. But because I've just spent three, four hours this morning on my laptop and my phone because it's my turn to be doing emails and stuff, I didn't film any of it because it would have just been clips of me like this. So I posted it everywhere to try and get some marketing. So in all the Facebook groups possible, shared a bunch of things, blah, blah, blah. So I've then obviously got loads of comments from people saying, do you still have spaces? Well, my favorite one is not heard anything back. I'm like, well, you applied 12 hours ago. So you wouldn't have heard anything back yet. I've been sleeping. So is Alex, so is Tom. I know that's really unprofessional and rude of me to say, but it is exceptionally infuriating. Customer service as a whole is very difficult. Dealing with the general public is very difficult. And markets, there's no difference. We decided this time that we were gonna send out unsuccessful emails. It was a learning process. It's what we've learned from past events that might work from us because we do then get inundated with people saying things like that. I've not heard anything, why have I not heard anything? This is ridiculous. I sent my application form four hours ago, why have I not heard anything? So this way it gives people a definite, unfortunately you've not been selected this time. And instantly I got not a nice response and I thought, oh no, here we go. Because I do speak to other organisers in the area and stuff and I hear from their experiences all the time and I knew that this would happen. I was pre-warned that I would get some not very nice responses. So all day I'm going to be an anxious, stressy mess checking the emails. This is why I need Tom and Alex to deal with this because I just don't, I don't want to offend anyone but I don't want people yelling at me. <laughs> we shall see what responses we get. Hopefully people will do just what I do when I get a rejection and just go, okay, great. That's fine. But it's all posted on every page I could possibly do. I need to do some leaflet dropping soon. I've got a few more. You're all right there, bud. I've got a few more leaflets parceled up and ready to go out to stall holders. But I think I'm going to need a week off from emails. How about Alex, Tom? You're up. <laughs> so there's a little insight into what running Makers Markets is like. It's really fun. <laughs> it's very stressful. Right, let's move on and do positives again because that's what we're here for. We're here for positives. We're here for Fauna Rose related stuff. I'm gonna deep breathe. First of all, I had another family member join us last night, which is really, really exciting. Henriette has joined the Fornity, so thank you so, so much, lovely. I'm so excited to have you join us. So the Fornity is where you can receive a bunch of extra content, like bonus videos, podcasts, you get a discount code, a bunch of things like that, voting privileges, loads of behind the scenes stuff. So thank you so much. Hopefully you really enjoy. Oh, I can see my iPad's lighting up and it's just more notifications about the market. This is gonna be a fun day. Henriette, thank you so much. I'm so excited. It means the absolute world to me. And then second of all, we got an order last night, which is really exciting. So the lovely Victoria, I believe. Let me just double check. Yeah, Victoria has ordered. So thank you so much, lovely. Victoria's gone for the Alicia Mini and the Olea Mini. So that's really exciting. I'll pass all that up shortly. So thank you guys so, so much. That means the absolute world to me. Oi. Let's crack on. Let's get that order parceled up. That's probably the best shout, isn't it? I've added Victoria's name to the sales tracker right there. And then we've got a thank you card, name card, and a business card. So these are the scrunchies that she's gone for. So she's got the Alicia Mini as well as the Aaliyah Velvet Mini.
there we go so that is four cups done and one cup nearly done <laughs> i don't know if you saw them but as i was aggressively <laughs> scraping at the vinyl and the transfer tape i ripped it and it's ripped part of the design which is fine because the rest of the design's fine it's just missing a sun there i do need to get another little sun bit cut out but i've got two white celestial ones one gold celestial one black snake one and then i just need to finish that gold one but i've just had some things arrive so let's open those up i'm pretty sure <laughs> one of them is more cup designs which is exciting and i'm hoping the other is leaflets because i've got a bunch of a5 leaflets but i also have ordered some a4 ones as well oh they're so cool oh my god this is so exciting let's get some of these made up oh i don't think i've got enough cups that's depressing the first wrap we've got is this one i really hope you're gonna be able to see it but it's beautiful i know i already have a butterfly design but i'm a sucker for celestial butterfly sort of designs so i got four of those this is basically how i run my small business i buy things i like and i just hope you guys like them too <laughs> so instead of having an all-round cup design i have done just a front cup design in the past so that's what these ones are for but we've got this one which says feeling lucky i'll pan it down but it's got two sort of heart cherry dice on it with some checkerboard they're very cool so i think i've got five of those and then this one i couldn't resist it just says fries before guys <laughs> four of those as well i'll give you a better look in a second i really hope that these are my leaflets oh, amazing they look pretty good oh they're really nice quality amazing okay make us like it a4 leaflets which is very very exciting you see if you're in the lincolnshire area or bourne area i would really really appreciate it if you came along to support our small businesses because they work so hard and it'd be great if you could pop over and support us it's free entry it's yeah we always choose really high quality professional makers and stuff or if you know anyone in the lincolnshire area you could let them know about it i'd be very grateful let me show you these designs so there's the fries before guys there's the feeling lucky and there's the gorgeous butterfly and moth one. I'd say they're more moth shapes than butterflies, but they're so pretty. Cute. Sadly, I only had two cups, so I just popped one of these on, which is really, really cute. I love this. And then I tried one of the wraps as well, which again is another really, really cute design. I love these. So I need to order some more cups, which is exciting, but they'll be hopefully going live soon. The supervisor is supervising. <laughs> you okay there, bubbles? He's mad at me because I've just tried to clean his ears. <laughs> hey! Why don't you now get jealous? She you can't wear me too. So I apparently am having a bit of a lost day today. I don't really know what to do with myself. I think it's because I don't really have plans this weekend for the business. I don't really have any collections that are currently planned that are dropping soon. I need to remember that not every single day of the week, all day, every day, I don't have to work <laughs> all day, every day. And I am quite bad at not giving myself a break. So I've just been trying to fill the time by doing little things here and there. So I've just started reorganizing some of the office. I sent out a bunch of emails. I've contacted a bunch of local schools. I don't know if this is gonna work or if any of them are gonna get back to me or anything, but it's always worth a shout because there's quite a lot of schools in the area that we have our maker's market. I'm just gonna get him down or he's gonna eat that plant and that plant is toxic which is his favourite snack. So I just contacted a bunch of the schools in the area and just said, we've got an event coming up. Um, is there any chance that you could help us spread the word, pass it on to like teachers and parents? And if no one's interested, that's completely fine, but it's worth a shot. So what I'm thinking of doing is going out, getting some fresh air, doing some leaflet delivering and distribution of flyers, putting them in shops and things like that. There's a few up already in places. So I'm currently in a public car park, so this isn't really good because there's people staring at me, which isn't great. I pushed a few leaflets through doors and I've been into a few shops just to see if they'll put the leaflets up. A few of them have, which is great. So there's a few out and about around Bourne. Good morning. <laughs> Please ignore my hair guys, I'm fresh out the shower and I'm trying to let it air dry for a short while. I'm trying to not use as much heat on it and as you can tell I've done an exceptional job at throwing it up. I should really care about these things, shouldn't I? Super professional, as always. 
<laughs> I can't take myself seriously. But anyway, on a different note, I obviously went and posted a bunch of leaflets about and posted, sent off some orders, a load of things like that. And while I was at work yesterday, all within a very similar amount of time, I was getting loads of messages, which was great because that meant I got orders, which is exciting. I don't know what happened, but at the same time, I got three orders, which is absolutely amazing. So Sarah, Amber and Rachel, thank you so much. <laughs> One of those orders, I'm pretty sure it's Sarah, I could be wrong, I'll have to double check, has ordered all the way from Canada, which is so exciting. So thank you so much, lovely. When it comes to doing your customs form and your label, I'm not actually gonna stick them on the parcel until I get to the post office, because I'm pretty sure it's either Canada or Australia, I think it is Canada, that have to have the label stuck on in a specific way. So I'm gonna have to take them with me. I am in a little bit of a rush today because I've got quite a lot to do and I'm going home this weekend, which I am so so excited but so so nervous about. It is Mother's Day on Sunday here in the UK and I wanted to go and treat my mum by blessing her with my presents. I wanted to spend Mother's Day with her because I don't get to see my family that often because we are very far away. We obviously have indoor cats who can't go in catteries and things like that. They are our babies so it's quite difficult to travel home. So I thought I would be super brave and do the drive home myself. It's quite a few hours away and I'm not a good driver. <laughs> well I am a good driver. I'm a very nervous driver and I don't drive anywhere really currently. Driving places I don't know terrifies me and I can't do long journeys because of my hips. I've got really bad hips and a really bad back so sitting in the same position for a long period of time I end up in absolute agony so usually I can do about two and a bit hours at a push as a passenger where I could just move around and stuff and then I'm in quite a lot of pain so I am very nervous for this drive but I can do this because I get to then spend the weekend with my family with my mum and everything so I'm so excited about that. I've got a lot to do before I set off. I start work earlier on a Friday. I've got to go and do more leaflets got orders to package, I've got emails to respond to, invoices to send out, payment reminder things to send out, lots and lots and lots of things to do. So before I get overwhelmed and stressed, let's package up some orders, let's have a really fun productive day and let's deep breathe. Shall I have a cup of tea first? Or shall I have a cup of tea as I package the orders? Obviously I'm not going to sit down and waste time drinking a cup of tea. I can multitask. It is Sarah that's landed on the freebie and is all the way from Canada which is so excited so I'm going to throw in this XL black, white and yellow floral print scrunchie for her and we've got the Jess Mini which is this lovely pink one. We've got a few sale items from Christmas so we've got the Fern wristlet which is a beautiful sort of woodland cottage cottagecore print. One of the navy macrame candy canes. Two mystery scrunchies. So exciting. The Danny Mini from the Satin Collection and the Zoe XL from the Satin Collection, which is very, very exciting. So let's get this one packaged up first. So next we've got Amber's order, which I'm very excited about because it's got one of the disco ball glass can cups in it. One of those, need to make sure I get you a straw. And then we've got two motel keychains. The first one is the white one that says, I'm pretty cool, but I cry a lot. And then the next one is the pink Hot Girls Hit Curbs, which is this one. This is a shop fave. So let me grab a glass straw and let's get this packaged up. Thank you. 
finally we have Rachel's order. Rachel, thank you so much again, lovely. Rachel's gone for the snake glass can cup, which is definitely still one of my favorites. And just like with Amber's order, I'm gonna throw in one of the glass straw cleaners. And then we've got a mystery scrunchie, the Serena Mini, and the Penny Mini, which is really exciting. Thank you so much, Rachel. So let's get this parceled up. There we go guys, all packaged up. I love how they all like match. <laughs> so I need to put fragile stickers on the ones with glassware in them and then I need to get your shipping label sorted. So now I'm gonna have a cup of tea while I do this. Then I'm gonna do some boring email stuff. So I need to send out invoices, receipts, things like that. But Amber, Rachel and Sarah, thank you guys so, so much. It's made my day. <laughs> I've just realized who Amber is, if I've got this right, because it's a local delivery. And I was like, I really recognize Amber's surname. I've just checked and I'm pretty sure it's the lovely Amber who works at the offices where I clean. <laughs> so I really obviously want to get this sent off, but at the same time, I can literally hand it to her. <laughs> so I might have to go into work a bit earlier and just say, is this you by any chance? Because if it is, I can hand deliver it. I can refund her shipping, which is so exciting. Amber, if you ever see this, thank you so much. I will obviously tell you when I see you. I still can't take myself seriously. Look at the state of me. I need to do my hair. But I've done all the boring bits. So I've done shipping labels. I've then sent out receipts for our maker's market. I've then sent out like final payment reminders and invoices. I've then seen the next people who have paid their invoice but have yet to be sent the leaflets and flyers and the advertising. Um, so I've put their addresses on these while I'm going to the post office. I can take them. Just boring stuff like that really. But I do think I'm going to leave this video here. I am so sorry that this wasn't that exciting that there wasn't much going on in this video but I really appreciate you guys watching so if you could give it a massive thumbs up leave me a comment down below and subscribe if you aren't all the social media for Fauna Rose including the website is linked down below also all the information for joining my Fauna Rose family memberships is linked down below so if you want heaps of extra content I would definitely recommend checking that out but apart from that I'll see you guys in my next one bye <music>